We can see in this question from the picture that they provided that r is to the left of zero, but s and t are both to the right of zero. Then the question starts talking about the absolute values of r, s, and t. So just as a reminder, an absolute value is just describing how far away from zero something is. So that means that lowercase s is the same thing as uppercase s because you know, uppercase s tells us exactly where we are in the number line in terms of coordinates, positive and negative, and s just tells us how far away from zero we are. But to the right of zero, those would be the same thing. So the same goes for t. Lowercase t and uppercase t are exactly the same. It's only with r, which is to the left of zero, that there's a bit of a complication there with the absolute value. You see, the, the value of uppercase r will be negative because it's to the left of zero, but the value of lowercase r will be, I guess, the mirror image of uppercase r. Like whatever negative number uppercase r is, lowercase r would be that same number, but positive because it's just describing r's distance from zero without committing to which side of zero. So if we agree that lowercase r is the mirror image of uppercase r, another way to say that is that lowercase r equals negative uppercase r, or vice versa. Uppercase r is equal to negative lowercase r. Now the question is asking for the arithmetic mean or the average of uppercase r, s, and t. So based on the definition of average, it would just be uppercase r plus uppercase s plus uppercase t, all divided by 3. But the answer choices all have lowercase r, s, and t. So using the insights that we already talked about, I'll replace uppercase r with negative lowercase r, but then I'll replace the uppercase s and t with lowercase s and t. And that would lead us directly to answer choice e. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.